So a few days ago, an admin of a Worldwide Instax Shooters group on uh, Facebook issued a challenge to get uh, Instax Square to shoot out of a Spectre camera. Um, I think the rules were it has to be loaded in there and shot with it and processed out of there. So basically, how do you repurpose your Spectre camera to shoot Instax Square? So we're going to go ahead and try that today. Um, but I wanted to give you a little rundown of what I plan on doing. So I use this already exposed uh, Spectra frame to cut out a, as thin as I could find. As, you got to go th as thin as possible because don't forget, um, thickness may be the issue. Um, which we'll find out later on that that may not be the case now. Not necessarily. Um, but what I did is I got this cardstock. Um, or photo paper actually. And I added a little tiny bit of a uh, double stick tape. So in a changing bag, I'm gonna pull out a frame from in here and then stick it on here, okay? And then I'm gonna put this on top to act as the uh, dark slide. And we're gonna try to first eject this one and then eject that one and then see what happens. And we'll try to take a photo and hopefully the photo comes out, okay? And we're back. So now, inside of here, we have a Spectre cartridge loaded with um, a Polaroid Originals dark slide, and below it, the uh, Instax square frame taped to a piece of uh, photo paper. So let's eject the dark slide. And Polaroid Originals will eject fine the second time around. Uh, once exposed, so there's no issues there, even at the jammed cartridge, if you reloaded those same frames, even into an older battery, um, it would still work fine. Alright, so now let me take a photo of the camera. Let's see, it's about at the, f I don't know if it'll get the timestamp, but let me aim it a little bit there. Doesn't work. Might have some trouble catching there. We need to push it in a little bit. I think um, and get stuck. You might have a multiple exposure there. All right, that made it. Okay, so right off the bat, uh, we notice that the rollers don't perfectly spread the chemicals, which is fine. We're just trying to prove that this will make it through because um, there's something interesting that I wanted to show you that I discovered when I was testing this um, with uh, exposed frames before I actually put this together. All right, so, and that is the thickness. So this whole time, I think everybody's been thinking it's a thickness issue. And I think this experiment, even though it's not perfectly scientific, um, shed some new light on what may be the issue. Let me zero there. Because this thing measures at point 0.63, point 0.62, 63, it'll bounce around there. Like I said, not very scientific, but for comparison's sake, that's your 0.52 for the Polaroid Originals, and then naturally the uh, much thinner uh, old stuff from the 90s. Okay, so that brings up an interesting point that it may not be the thickness per se, and it may have a lot more to do with the resistance of the pod at least whatever seal is here and prevents the, the chemicals from leaking. Um, it has trouble breaking it on the Spectra. Um, it doesn't have that problem on the 600. Uh, people reload 600 or I-type into Spectra cartridges all day long and they never jam. Um, they're obviously not as thick. Um, there are, they are somewhere in between the Polar Originals and the uh, old Spectra. Uh, but still, I think that's something to consider now, um, and I wonder if it's not too late for Polaroid Originals to look at that. 
Um, yeah, I think it uh, has a lot more to do with the resistance of the pod breaking. So let's check out the photo. Let's see what our results were. And all right, probably a bit of a double exposure there, multiple exposure because uh, it had trouble coming out the first time. But there is an image, and that's my tripod and at least the bottom of the pivot head there so I'll probably try to take some better pictures I don't know if I'll get it on video but at least this sort of works some final notes if you're gonna try this at home um, something that I discovered uh, when I initially was doing this is uh, when you apply the tape you want it to be as thin as possible because you want to tape the frame down. Early on I was just putting it in the center and that does impact how the chemicals spread across there. You'll have a patch for where the tape is. And you don't want to go all the way to the edge. You want to come in a little bit more and that is because on the uh, Spectra cartridge, um, the Instax Square alone if it fits in here, sometimes it'll jam up against this part of the plastic here. So you kind of want to move it up a little bit when you tape it down to that. So that way it's already tucked underneath this part of the cartridge to prevent jamming because of the cartridge. All right, if you got any other questions, uh, ask them below. I'll try to answer them as best as I can. Um, and yeah, thanks for watching.